I'm sitting at Sihinir Kere, the historical source of water for the Devanali town, which today has around 40,000 people and is located just behind the Bangalore International Airport in Bangalore. This lake stopped getting water and went dry after the highway there has been uh, constructed. The town had been uh, relying on borewell water and the borewell depths had gone to around 1,000 feet, 900 feet, 1,200 feet with high TDS. And people relied on the RO system, 17 of them in the town, paying 5 rupees for 20 litres from the RO systems for drinking water in that town. In this context, lake uh, was desilted once back in 2017 or 2018 and during the desilting, uh, we had worked with the town to ensure that a well on the bank of the lake did not fall into disrepair and wasn't closed up. The well could become a source of water for the future. Then, around 2021, the HN Valley project, which transfers secondary treated wastewater from Bangalore to three districts, Bangalore Rural, uh, Chikbalapur and some parts of Bangalore Urban District. Those waters came and fell in Sihinir Kere which now means that the well that was revived is full of water. And now the town has integrated this well into its water supply. borewell <laughs> Tumma problem aktai to nirindo. Andre deep jasti ho buti. To base ke bantu anta anta thei ipad dina ipad thei dinu korta idbe. Matte private tanker gallala thagondo tanker mukantra. Prati andu varuko naak naak loda idhe idh gadi biti idbe. So mar aar tingla lakshigla ko thobari ho nirindo. Iva gat andre illa. I project madam mele vondu tanker yu thagondi lacha idna. Aap isinde eridi da. Schoolo matte aali aali nirog dira jagdali tanker mukantra namde korte bisa. We are near the open well near Sihinir Kere Lake, which was rejuvenated twice with the help of many CSR funders and Devanali Town Municipal Council. Once the lake started getting filled with HN Valley water, the well also started getting filled with water. We initially, with the help of IISC, we tested the water quality of the lake water and the open well water. We ensured that it doesn't have any contamination from the heavy metals or the pesticides. So now from the lake, the water gets recharged and first level of filtration happens and water comes into the open well. Then we have done a second level of uh, filtration through a WTP, which consists of 140 micron disc filter, multimedia filter, UV disinfection and closing dosing. And the water supply to the town meets the BIS 10500 standards. Every day around 150 to 200 kL of water is supplied from the open well and filter bore well to the Devanalli town. There are water flow meters installed for the open well and the filter bore well to measure how much water is pumped every day. This is called as a filter bore well. This will help to tap the water from the shallow aquifer. This acts similar to an open well. For the filter bore well, we will we'll make a wall of 50 to 150 feet depending on the site condition and then we'll insert casing pipes with slits in the pipe and then we'll do jelly packing all around the pipe. Once the clear water starts coming, we can put a pump and start using the water for the water supply. This project was implemented by Devanalli Town Municipal Council with the support of a lot of CSR funders and Biome. Namaste. Namdo board the sun, I was born in there. I would direct to buy over the buy in the Matta ill filter birth. Filter Nabil filter in the Navu in the Urkon filter, I get the Matta and some book over Meter, sir, reading, 
ನಮಗೆ ಈಗ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಕೆರೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಎಚ್ ಎನ್ ಮೇಲೆ ನೀರು ಬಂದಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬಾವಿ ಒಂದಿತ್ತು ಹಳೆಯದು ಅದನ್ನು ರಿನೋವೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅದರಿಂದ ನೀರು ವಾಟರ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ನಮಗೆ ಟೌನ್ಗೆ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಐದರಿಂದ ಆರು ಎಮ್ ಎಲ್ ಡಿ ನೀರು ಬೇಕಾಗಿತ್ತು ಈಗ ನಮಗೆ ಬಾವಿಯಿಂದ ಡೈಲಿ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಬೇಸಿಗೆನಲ್ಲಿ ನೀರಿನ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಮೊದಲೆಲ್ಲ ಏಳು ದಿವಸ ಎಂಟು ದಿವ್ಸಕ್ಕೆ ನೀರು ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ವಿ ಇವಾಗ ಮೂರರಿಂದ ನಾಲ್ಕು ದಿನಕ್ಕೆ ನೀರು ವಾಟರ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಮತ್ತು ಈಗ ಇದೇ ಥರ ಟೌನಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ಬಾವಿಗಳು ಕಲ್ಯಾಣಿ ಇಲಾಖೆಗಳನ್ನು ಇರೋ ಅಂಥವನ್ನ ರಿನೋವೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿಬಿಟ್ಟು ಆ ನೀರನ್ನು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಟೌನಿಗೆ ವಾಟರ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡೋದನ್ನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಇವಾಗ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾನಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ತದನಂತರ ಏನು ಇಡೀ ನಮ್ಮ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಇದು ಮೊದಲನೇದು ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟು ನಮ್ಮ ದೇವನಹಳ್ಳಿಯ ಎಲ್ಲ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತ್ಮೂರು ಜನ ಸದಸ್ಯರು ಮತ್ತು ಮುಖ್ಯ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳೆಲ್ಲ ಬಂದು ಈ ಒಂದು ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಕೆರೆ ಹತ್ರ ನಡೆದಿರೋಂಥ ಈ ಒಂದು ಫಿಲ್ಟ್ರು ನೀರುಗಳ ಎಲ್ಲ ನೋಡಿ ಮತ್ತು ದೇವನಹಳ್ಳಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ವಾರ್ಡಲ್ಲಿರುವಂಥ ಹಳೆ ಬಾವಿಗಳಿರ್ಬೋದು ಹಳೆ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣಿಗಳಿರ್ಬೋದು ಈ ಜಾಗದಲ್ಲೂ ಇದೇ ರೀತಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಉಳಿದಂಥ ಸದಸ್ಯರುಗಳು ಏನೋ ನಮ್ಮ ವಾರ್ಡಲ್ಲಿ ಎಂಟನೇ ವಾರ್ಡಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಥರ ಆಗಿದೆ ಇದೇ ರೀತಿ ಬೇರೆ ವಾರ್ಡಲ್ಲಿ ಆದರೆ ತುಂಬ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯದು ಜನಗಳಿಗೆ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಹಳೆ ಬಾವಿಗಳಿರೋಂಥ ಸಂರಕ್ಷಣೆ ಮಾಡ್ದಂಗೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನೀರು ಮುಂದೆ ಬರೋವಂಥ ದಿನಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಬೋರ್ವೆಲ್ ಕೊರಿಯೋದು ಹೆಚ್ಚಾಗಿದೆ ಅದು ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇದೇ ನೀರು ನಮಗೆ ಸಂರಕ್ಷಣೆಯಾಗಿ ಜನಗಳಿಗೆ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ನೀರು ಕೊಡುವಂಥ ಕಾಲ ಬಂದಿದ್ದು ದಯವಿಟ್ಟು ಎಲ್ಲರಿಂದ ಸಪಿ ಸದುಪಯೋಗ ಪಡಿಸ್ಕೊಬೇಕಂತ ಕೇಳ್ಕೊಂಡೆ ಸೊ ಆಸ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟ್ರೀಟೆಡ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಟರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿವೈವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಶಾಲೋ ಆಕ್ವಿಫ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಲೇಕ್ ಇನ್ ಸಿಹಿನೀರ್ ಕೆರೆ ಇನ್ ದೇವನಹಳ್ಳಿ ದ ಲೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲೈವ್ಲಿಹುಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಫಿಶರ್ಮೆನ್ ಅದೆ ದ ಕ್ಯಾಟಲ್ ಆರ್ ವಾಶ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಶಾಲೋ ಆಕ್ for water if we compare the cost of shallow aquifer water it's around 1 and 1/2 rupees per kiloliter whereas the deep borewell waters represents around 9 to 10 rupees per kiloliter and that's the kind of economic cost differences so the energy that is required to bring the shallow aquifer and use it is very much lower than the energy you need to bring up deep aquifer waters this therefore ties up as a climate adaptive climate resilient and climate mitigating response in the times of climate change to use shallow aquifer waters that is recharged through lakes from treated waste waters we are also planning to do a living lab here in devanalli so that the other towns can come and replicate the model in their area along with that we are also doing instrumentation like rain gauge fan evapotometer water level sensor and water level gauge also which will help us to understand the capacity of the shallow aquifer to meet the water supply of the devanalli town this is the doddkare lake of devanalli town the overall water demand of devanalli town at present is 5 mld so right now we are uh, supplying 200 kld from the shallow aquifer near sinir kare so the one open well and two filter borewells it will be increased to 600 kld overall 600 kld in coming days with additional 400 kld coming from the new filter borewells and we are hoping like if we explore the shallow aquifer in the doddkare since this is a bigger lake and it has got a bigger command area so we are exploring the world open wells here and world kalyanis which can be integrated to water supply system along with drilling new filter borewells and we are hoping by doing the interventions in this area all the 5 mld water demand of devanalli town can be met through the shallow aquifer